Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I've got two more days worth of sales and I'm really excited about what I'm selling. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna give you the item that I sold, tell you exactly how much I paid for it, tell you how much I earned on Poshmark after the shipping and after the fees, write that number on the board after I deduct my costs and give you a total profit number, real profit number. So this is a Victoria's Secret padded underwire bra, size 32 double D, leopard print. That I paid $2 or $1 out of a liquidation box. $1.25 is what I earned. So a whopping 25 cents is what I've earned on that one. Now that one has been on my store for quite a while, but at least I got some money back. Then I have a Kato 18 to 20 waist black elastic waist maxi skirt. A dollar is what I paid for that. Two twenty-five is what I earned. So a dollar twenty-five are my profits on that particular item. Then I've got this hat, which I know I paid two dollars out of a liquidation box for. My earnings were a dollar twenty-five. So want want want. I'm at negative seventy-five cents. I'm not looking too good so far. That's rough. All right, let's hope it gets a little better. All right, then I have this women's Chelsea rain boot. A new day is the brand. Um, I paid $7 out of a liquidation box. It was kind of a high buy for me, so I probably won't do that again. $6.25 is what I earned, and I'm at another negative 75 cents, but at least I made back my $6.25 on that. I know I've sold some of those rain boots for a little bit more profit, so it kind of all evens out in the end, but I need to really watch when I add um, when I offer deals on things because sometimes I offer too low of a deal and then I end up doing this, which means I'm not making a very good profit on that particular item. So the next item I have is a new with tags champion medium duo dry medium um, sports bra. 425 is what I earned, a dollar's what I paid, so I'm at three dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay, that's looking a little better. Um, so hopefully we keep moving up on the profits here. Then I've got a bundle, which usually I make a lot more money on a bundle, and then it's also cheaper for the buyer as well. So I've got a pair of size 18 high-rise kick boot crop pants, which I paid $2 out of a liquidation box for. And then I've got these really awesome brown combat boots, combat style boots. Um, they're actually called Women's Cassie Combat Boots Massimo Brown Cognac. I got a bunch of these in various different sizes, so check it out on my Poshmark store. The link is in the description below. I paid $4 for this, so I've got $6 total invested. $18.20 is what I earned on Poshmark, so I'm at $12.20 of profit on that. So I'm super excited. All right, we are moving up. <laughs> We'll just kind of ignore these here and make ourselves feel better about this. <laughs> the $12 and 20 cents. Alrighty, then I've got a pair of Cat and Jack little kids toddler shoes. These are so cute, I absolutely love these. These are size 10 little Cat and Jack boys Velcro shoes. Aren't those adorable? Yep, they're super cute. They have stars on the inside of them, so those are super fun. I've got some more pairs of those, so check out my Poshmark store if you're interested in getting those. They're size 10 in toddlers. And so I paid $4 off of a uh, pallet from Via Trading for those. $5.25 is what I earned, so I'm at $1.25 of profit on those little kid shoes, which I'm actually pretty pleased with because kid shoes don't sell very well, but I've got other things like these uh, brown combat boots which are much more profitable that I also got on that palette, which is why that one was $4 and so was the child shoe. Then I have a mint colored, really cute, feminine de-signed uh, XL embellished mini skirt, $1.25 is what I paid 50 cents from the Goodwill outlet is what I paid for it. $1.25 is what I earned. Sorry, I said that in the wrong order. So I'm at 75 cents of profit. Hey, maybe that'll counteract that guy. Alrighty. Then I have a pair of Women's Eve quarter strap sandals made by Morona. They look like this. I've got some more. This is a size five and a half, but aren't those really cute? So they were originally priced $25 and the person who bought it from me only had to pay 15. So you're definitely getting a better deal for sure. So $15 is what they paid for these five and a half Morona shoes. 
Um, I paid $4 off of that same palette for them. And let me see what my earnings are. I had to click past another button. And so my earnings for those pair of shoes are, so $4 is what I paid, $12 is what I earned. So I'm at $8 total for profits on those. Then I have a 2X, just my size, three quarter sleeve tunic shirt. 705 is what I earned, $2 what I paid. So I'm at $5.05 on that shirt. Then I've got a bundle of two items. That's going to be these Mad Love slip on loafers here. And then I have a pair of, or a shirt that's a Croft and Borrow XXL classes, classic long sleeve tee. Um, and so I paid $2 for the Mad Love slip on shoes. And then I paid a dollar for the shirt. And so I'm at $3 invested. 705 is what I earned. $4.05 are my profits there. Then the next thing I have is a new without tags universal thread size 12 slash 31 distress shorts and jeans. The 12 is the American size, 31 is the European size. $2 is what I paid out of a liquidation box. Two, uh, $4.25 is what I earned. So $2.25 are my profits there. Then I have a swimsuit bot bikini bottom, which is perfect this time of the year to be selling swimsuit bottoms because they're being pulled out of all the stores because it's getting close to winter. And so selling swimsuits now is actually a really good deal simply because you can't find them anywhere else but online. And so this was a dollar out of a liquidation box. My earnings were $2.25, which puts me at $1.25 of profits. Then I've got this pajama top set, uh, $4.25 is what I earned, a dollar out of a liquidation box is what I paid, so I'm at $3.25 of profit on that. Then I have um, this really, really gorgeous, genuine olive wood mother of pearl necklace, which I absolutely love. Um, I bought these at the Las Vegas ASC Market Week, the cash and carry section, um, and I actually only paid 65 cents per cross. And 205 is what I earned selling that. So they actually bought it for five, but I made 205 after fees. So 205 minus my 65 would put me at a dollar 40 for profits. Then, of course, I showed you these boots. There's another pair of the boots here that I sold. Remember, I made negative 75 cents on those boots. So let's see, did I make a profit on these? Remember, I paid $7. Oh my goodness, I earned 705. So I made a whopping five cents. I definitely am not planning on buying shoes for $7 a piece next time, especially the the brand of ones that these are, but I'm doing really good at the $4 mark for some of my other purchases. So it's just kind of live and learn. Some of you think I'm amazing at reselling and sometimes I do bust and don't make good choices on some of the things that I buy. So um, just remember, sometimes that happens even to the best of us. All right, then I have another bundle. Uh, this is my last item here. I've got a new with tag Hanes size six ultra plush waistband tagless brief. So it's a set of underwear. And the cool thing was is this says there's supposed to be 10 in there. Um, and so I actually um, readjusted the listing so that it has the proper amount. So even if the package is open, as long as they're still rolled and brand new, you can sell them like this. And so they sold for $9. And then I have a Champion C9 Duo Dry reflective beanie for six and so after the six and nine my earnings were actually five dollars and 25 cents because i offered them a shipping discount in order to make the sale so 525 is what i earned i've got a dollar invested in each one of those so take my two bucks off i'm at three dollars and 25 cents. So I'm gonna go through, whoo, these numbers look a little scary. So I'm gonna go through and see, did I really make a pretty good profit on two days worth of sale? Or am I gonna have to package all this and go through a lot of work for not much money? So we'll see. 
All right, so I made $46 in two days of sales on Poshmark for a total of 17 separate orders. So it actually didn't come out to as bad as it seemed initially when I was writing these numbers on the board. So hopefully it's been helpful to see what I sold on Poshmark these last two days. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.